My journey with Tauk, a United States Tour Operators Association member, started off in Winnipeg, Manitoba's capital city. And the Forks Market was our first stop for some grub. We're at the Forks Market, and this bright, airy space used to be stables. It's now been converted into a food hall where locals come and grab groceries, tourists can come and grab lunches and sit and have beautiful bites inside. You can also find a lot of local crafts and products and food all unique to Winnipeg. My personal favorite are the pierogies. You can't miss those. You might not think of pierogies when you are in Manitoba, but actually they are a pretty common local dish. There's a huge Ukrainian population here in Manitoba and that's why you can see a lot of Ukrainian influence in their food. And I'm about to try some of Winnipeg's best pierogies here at the Forks Market. These are Baba's pierogies. You can get them boiled, you can get them fried. I got them both. Succulent and rich, these hearty dumplings warm you up here in the north. The market has a variety of other eats too. But now I was in the mood for a dessert and the locals say that Tall Grass Prairie Bread Company has some of the best baked goods and sweet treats around. Tall Grass Prairie Bakery is known throughout Winnipeg for one thing, these cinnamon buns. And everyone is lining up and cleaning them out. They smell so good. They're big enough to share, but I'm not going to. It was only the first day, and my small group journey with Tauk was starting off in a very tasty way. Next up in Churchill, the edge of the Arctic might not seem conducive to delicious, fresh food, but it sure is. Our Tauk experience, a USTOA member, makes sure you dine well, even when we were out searching for polar bears on our Arctic crawlers. And you get to have lunch right out here on the tundra. The Lazy Bear Lodge cooks up a delicious homemade hot lunch and brings it out here onto the buggy so you can eat, take in the views, and be having lunch with the polar bears the whole time. I can't tell you how tasty a warm mug of chili is when you are out in the tundra. Made with local elk meat, it was satisfying, flavorful, and I think everyone can agree, it hit the spot. And based on how many polar bears came up to see us, I think they wanted some chili too. The Lazy Bear Lodge was also our home base, and our tout group was very lucky that this was our accommodations because we were under the same roof as some of the best food in all of Churchill. When people spend uh, a day out on the tundra in sub-zero temperatures, it's great to come back to a wonderful warm place and smell the wood and the great food that we have here in the dining room. I looked forward to every meal at the Lazy Bear Lodge and had fun trying different dishes each time. Homemade breads, fresh vegetable soups and salads, and of course I had to dig into the local game on the menu. And right here at your own lodge, you get to try some of Churchill's specialties, like Arctic char, elk, and bison. Down the street is Gypsy's Bakery and Restaurant, a town fixture serving for 25 years. We're at Gypsy's. It's an institution here in Churchill, Portuguese style. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, excellent pastries. And we're here at dinner time, and I'm excited to order some local fish. They're known for char and pickerel. And I think I'm gonna try the char because she said it was really good. Warm and wholesome, all the good food kept our energy up for the big days of adventure in the polar bear capital.